I've just published a new book. It's out on LeanPub now and it's called Continuous Delivery Pipelines. There's a link in the description below. Ten years ago I wrote an extremely successful book along with my friend Jez. It was called Continuous Delivery we, and went on to win awards and to have some influence on our industry. Jez and I were delighted and surprised and grateful for the success of that book and at the time that we wrote it we knew that we were recording some valuable ideas. We'd both been working intimately involved in projects in fact where we learned some incredibly useful lessons and the book was our attempt to capture those lessons. As a result, the book kind of changed the course of our careers for both of us. One of the results of that is that I now regularly get asked, when's the next book? Well, you wait for one book to come along and then two come along at once. Well, nearly. This year I expect to publish two new books. The first is a practical handbook to help people get started with and improve their deployment pipelines. One of the core ideas that we introduced in continuous delivery was the idea of the deployment pipeline. This is not just the organising theme of a book, but I think of it as an organising idea for software development. Deployment pipelines are a fantastic tool that can enable a significantly stronger engineering stance in the production of software. They're also fairly widely misunderstood. For me, a deployment pipeline is a single, efficient, organising process that encompasses all aspects of software development, from writing new code to releasing new software. Continuous Delivery Pipelines is a short, focused, practical book. No fluff here. It's aimed at providing a structured approach to creating pipelines and providing an overview for their use. It doesn't replace the continuous delivery book, rather it complements it, I think. When Jez and I first wrote the continuous delivery book, we were nervous of overhyping the ideas in that book, and so we consciously toned down any talk of methodology or engineering practice at the time. Since then, I've seen and done quite a lot more, and to be honest, I'm a bit less reticent now. One of the things that I am now sure of is that the ideas of continuous delivery are part of a cohesive, measurably more effective approach to creating software. My third book, which should be published by the end of this year, is on this broader topic. This book is about what engineering should really mean for software, what ways of thinking about software development can help, and what techniques can we use to build better software faster. What does engineering for software really mean and how should we do it? I'm still not sure what the title of this book is going to be, but I'm very excited to see what you make of it when it's released later this year. I see a clear and consistent theme that links my books. All three are linked by my passion for excellence in software development. I believe that by applying science-based engineering thinking to software development, we get demonstrably, measurably better outcomes. We can say definitively that we know how to build better software faster. My mission is to try and get that message out to people. My aim is to share my experience to help to do that. And while I do that through practical examples, analogies, as well as some more abstract ideas at times, I'm not claiming to have all of the answers or even most of the answers. What I think that I have learned is an approach that allows us all to more efficiently and more effectively find our own better answers. That, for me, is what software engineering should be. I hope that you enjoy these books.